Hi, it's Trish again with the word in under five. How are you this morning? Hope you're all blessed this morning. And um, I'm going to bring you today scriptures to encourage yourself. I was watching Stephen Furtick and he was talking about how, you know, we want to call people to get encouragement and, you know, we're going through a hard time and, you know, I've gone through many hard times like everybody else. And, you know, I'm like, Lord, help me. You know, isn't there anybody that I can call? And sometimes people aren't available and, and things like that. So I, uh, I heard him say that a grown Christian should be able to encourage themselves. And, uh, you know, years of, uh, turning to God in those times, I'm like, Lord, I, I just want what you want in this situation. And I'm going to trust you in this situation, even when I don't, you know, I'm just saying the words and, you know, just trying to trust him anyway in the most difficult times of my life. And, uh, it's not easy to do those things. I know that. And sometimes, you know, um, the encouragement that I found is I just repeat things that I only knew at the time. Like, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And, you know, and I had to say things like, you are God's beautiful child, you know, and that he created me for a reason. And, and even though I don't know the reason, I'm going to trust you anyway. And it, it takes a lot of re repetition and, you know, changing, rewiring the brain, this brain that he gave us. It's so amazing, you know. And um, so some... That today that I looked up that I really, um, I really like is First Romans four fifteen four, and it says, and this is when Paul's talking to the Romans about encouraging each other. But one I like that that helps me to remember is for everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the Scriptures we might have hope. So as I read more into the Word, I'm so like encouraged that. God loves me. It's all for my greater good, you know, and that he'll do anything for me according to his will, which is way better than mine, like we always talk about. So, you know, I mean, it, it's just amazing. And then Psalm 32, 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. It's like it, it, he wants to just be there every step of the way. You know, who does that? You know, people will always fail us. You know, and I will fail people, obviously. You know, but God will just, he will counsel and teach in the way we should go and keep his eye upon us. You know, that's like the, the best father we could have, you know. And then Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Like, wow. You know, I mean, we can fall apart and we can, you know, trudge this road, move with purpose on this road. And then, you know, and, and, uh, fall apart again. And, you know, but we will never be moved. Our faith will never be moved when we cast those burdens on him. And then he, he'll just sustain us. You know, that's a belief and a faith that, you know, only in Christ I found that works, that is just simply amazing who, who, who he is, you know, he's our father and he's in love with us and he just wants the best for us. And it's, it's incredible, you know, and that true joy comes when you know that no matter what we may go through, he is always there and he sustains us and he keeps us, you know, from, I don't know, for me, totally losing it, <laughs> like wanting to just kill myself, you know, or, uh, throwing in the towel, you know, there's a, a thing I hear a lot of people saying, you know, um, don't have expectations be, then you won't, you know, be disappointed. And, and I'm like, I, I don't ever have expectations on people because, you know, I fail people and I don't want to disappoint people, you know, but I, I have expectations on the Lord though, because he says in his word, I will never leave you or forsake you. So that's, the word in under five. You guys have a blessed day.